everyone, it's Mary and today I'm going to talk about the books that I finished in the month of March. I'll go in, uh, in the order of, of my rating, although lately I have to say I don't pay that much attention to ratings. I was, I was just looking at them and I was like, I think I gave three stars to, to this and to this maybe four. But anyway, I'll start with the ones that I enjoyed a little bit less and go up to the ones that I really, really enjoyed. So, um, the first book that I'm going to talk about is Viva Sin Su Jardín by Dede Mirabal. And um, unfortunately, there is no English translation available. It would be Alive in Their Garden. And so I'm not talking extensively about this book as I feel like I've always said um, regarding this book, but it's it's a true story, it's a true account on the Mirabal sisters, which were four sisters living during the um, Trujillo dictatorship in the Dominican Republic. And Dede Mirabal is the only sister that survived. They were involved in the uh, kind of resistance against this dictatorship and the, her three sisters were um, killed because of their involvement. So in here she talks basically about their lives as a family and as individuals and it was interesting but I have to say it kind of felt like, I mean she was quite a bit old when she wrote this book and it, I mean she's not really a great writer I would say. It's, she's not bad, it's actually interesting but it's a bit heavy on facts in a way in which she would throw a lot of names into it and I found myself a little bit lost because for example she would list all the people that were invited in a wedding and I didn't know that those people were not maybe important to the story they were just names on a page and even though I understand why she did that it was not really useful for me and it was not really enjoyable to go through I guess but yes this one and then I, I read a book that I had requested from Netgali which is How Not To Be A Boy by Robert Webb this is a um, memoir uh, and he is kind of um, a, a comedian, a celebrity in the UK um, and I didn't, I was not familiar with him uh, but I've seen his book quite a lot around booktube and I just thought it was an interesting book to read because you know, it talks about masculinity and how this really impacted on his life. Growing up in quite a patriarchal environment in which he felt a lot of pressure from his father and from society um, as well. So, so it was very interesting to read and really, um, I feel relatable even though I didn't know the guy and I'm not a boy. I felt like he, with his account, he really wanted to be a part of the gender talk that is going around lately and he kind of wanted to, you know, to add his own two cents which were very valuable to me and also very compelling to to read. Uh, the only thing that I would say about this book that I did not enjoy as much is the writing style because I felt like he jumped a lot um, between timelines and that was a bit confusing because he would start talking about an event and then he would leave that event kind of halfway through to open a parenthesis and while I think it's the way that I talk most of the time like I jump around quite a lot I don't feel like it's very you know relaxing to read and it's kind of a bit confusing so that's well, probably the only thing that I really did not sit well with but it was overall a very pleasant read and I just felt like I agreed with everything he said basically uh, it was challenging you know with with his own faults and experience this this masculinity that it's very heavily imposed on boys and it affects you know both boys and girls as well so yes a very interesting read and I would definitely recommend it then I read a book about pregnancy which I'm not entirely sure that exists in English because it's actually a Dutch book that is called kind of a, a complete guide to pregnancy. I'm sure there is an equivalent in English, like something similar, which, you know, I will not talk about because first, I know, I'm not sure it was translated, and second, um, as I stated before, I will make a separate video talking about pregnancy-related books so that, you know, um, those of you who are not interested in the... quite because I feel like it's quite a specific topic. I quite enjoyed it. I think I gave it four stars, I believe. Then we have um, The Makioka Sisters by Junichiro Tanizaki. And I really enjoyed this book. It's quite a chunky one. It doesn't look like it, but it's... I feel like it's more than 500 pages long. Yes, it is. And it's quite long to go through, but I was not bored for 
a second during you know the reading of this book but i feel like if to, to enjoy this kind of book you have to know you know what you're diving into so it's the story of four sisters um that live in japan during the basically during the years before the second world war and through the second world war and they are from a very noble family so they're very tied to traditions and the main focus of, of this is actually their relationship between each other and with the family. So you kind of get to learn a lot about them and you know the people that they are in contact with. And when I say you get to know them well is that you're going to be part of every detail of every day in their lives for quite a while. And the main, you know, focus of, uh, of this book is their marriages. Tradition imposes that all the older sisters have to be married before a younger one can get married. So in this, in this situation, the, the eldest, the two eldest sisters are married and the kind of third sister uh, is not married and it's very hard to find someone for her um, because of you know various circumstances that you will go through when you're reading this book and the youngest one has actually um, I wouldn't say a boyfriend but you know a lot of interest and she is eager to marry him but she has to wait for her older sister to get married first so it's basically about that and um, the book is very slow and very detailed but I don't know reading this was kind of relaxing and I know that nothing major was going to happen and I didn't expect anything major to happen uh, but it was just a pleasure to go through their lives and to be a part of their family and to know such an interesting you know account on, on Japan during these days and through their eyes so I, I would definitely recommend this one. And the last book that I read um, is a very short one um, compared to, you know, the one that I just showed you. And it's We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. As you probably are familiar with this text already, is a transposition of a TED talk that she gave back in 2012. And it talks about feminism and how, you know, how it's important that everybody is a feminist and nobody you know is kind of afraid of the word and how dangerous it is for people not to actually know what feminism is about before being against it because a lot of people seem to be even nowadays i guess um against the idea of feminism without really knowing what it entails it's not something that i was not familiar with i am a feminist and i don't feel like this maybe gave me um a lot of new information but i felt like this was very useful because sometimes i find myself in the position of explaining things and while i know a lot of you know a, a lot of things i don't have possibly the right words to express my feelings so sometimes when you know if i have like to win an argument i just feel lost because there are so many things in my mind that i want to that i'm eager to get out that sometimes you know it's not that easy to convey so i felt like this one is is a good one especially to gift to people probably and if they're not familiar it's kind of an introduction to feminism and it's very short but anyway a five star read for sure that was it for my march um, wrap up i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have thoughts that you can share with me let me know if you read any of the books that i mentioned and if you have any recommendations of course based on the books that i just showed you oh and about japan since i've been on a japan kick this year um i would love to have recommendations on more you know japanese literature so feel free to to recommend down below and i'll see you in my next video bye